If there was a number 11 on this list, it would be my channel. <laughs> Uh, that's a good way to start. Welcome everyone to a brand new top 10. My name is Matthew Santoro and today I've got quite the doozy for you. Now we all know the internet like the back of our hands. We use Facebook, Twitter, and we all have our own little guilty pleasure websites like 9gag, Buzzfeed, and those other ones that we visit on a regular basis. However, those are extremely tame compared to some of the ones out there that I guarantee you have not heard of, or at least I hope you haven't. So friends, today I took the plunge into the very weirdest parts of the internet that I would say no man has ever gone, but unfortunately, they have. So prepare yourself, because here are the 10 creepiest websites on the internet. Number one are plane crash recordings. Oh, it gets weird right off the bat. Most of us have been on plane rides, and they can be a lot of fun. You get to go to a brand new location or visit family that you haven't seen in a long time, but planes don't always stay in the air. And sometimes people start a website that's dedicated to the recordings of the black boxes. Well, yes friends, disturbingly, there is a website dedicated to sharing the MP3 and transcripts of the very moments leading up to plane crashes. Now, I didn't choose to listen to very many because they're disturbing, but the events leading up to the crash, I can tell you, pretty much always involve some sort of navigational error or onboard problem, but they all end up with, you know, an abrupt cutoff. It's fun for the whole family. If you're someone that likes creepy and depressing stuff, oh, this one's for you. Now, thankfully, as new technology and procedures are incorporated into planes and air travel, the rate of fatal accidents have continued to fall so that's a good thing. Seriously, what kind of person runs a website like this? Like, what kind of person is out there saying, oh, there was a plane crash today? Better update the website. <laughs> Number two is Staggering Beauty. Oh, this one's the stuff of nightmares. We now live in a world where there are all kinds of video games and all kinds of genres. There are fun games like Super Mario, there's other games that are a little harder like Dark Souls, and then there are other ones that are part artwork, part seizure-inducing nightmare. Well friends, Staggering Beauty is a website that contains nothing but a black worm with white eyes. As you move your mouse around gently, the worm's head follows in silence, but the longer that you do it, the screen suddenly flashes with crazy colors! and blaring music. It's one of those really bizarre websites that you could really never stumble upon yourself. It would have to be sent to you by some sick friend. If you do choose to visit this website, I highly recommend you do so with caution, especially if you have epilepsy, because you know, you're going to end up with I have to be honest though, as really bizarre as this website is, the animations are quite good, which leads me to believe that it took some time to develop. So my only question to the developer of this website is, why? There's so many things that you could have spent your time on. Why this? Ooh. Number three is the Bong Chong Dong Ghost. Well, that's fun to say. Thanks to the beautiful invention of the internet, comic artists and writers now have the opportunity to post their web comics directly online for your consumption. But that means that anyone can post online and because of that, some people decided to make a weird internet screaming Bong Chong Dong ghost, which is a Korean webcomic about a ghost woman in pink pajamas asking where her baby is. It's as weird as it sounds. The idea is generally simple with the story unfolding vertically, but the comic has a few automatic scroll triggers. Once you hit a certain page in the comic, it starts to auto scroll through a series of images, kind of like a creepy flip book. The two triggers are at a point when the ghost turns its head and later when it lunges towards you. And yes, their sound. As creepy of an effect as it is, if you like jump scary stuff, you're gonna love this website. The comic sort of gives your computer the feel that it's haunted, so I suggest you proceed with caution, especially if you're watching it at night. You should probably wear a diaper, cause you gonna poop yourself. Number four is Rate My Poo. Huh, speaking of poopy! Look, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Every single person watching this video right now, at some point in their lives, has taken such a big poop that they took a moment to just marvel at their backside masterpiece. Now, of course, from time to time, we all do that secretly, and we rarely talk about it out in the open because, let's be honest, we don't want people to know about our feces fascination. But somebody out there had the genius idea to say, hey, I wonder if there's someone else out there that enjoys looking at poop, and they created a website dedicated to, well, posting the best poops. It allows their users to rate their corn-filled toilet floaters out of 10. And yes, the website even allows their users to highlight the very best uh, specimens for a completely separate list of the very best pieces of booty mud. Unfortunately, the website has not yet evolved to the point where you can click on a piece of poo and find out the amount of time, effort, and food required to, you know, 
create that beautiful food baby. But hey, one day, Here's hoping. Number five is Zombocom. You know, waiting in line is horrible. Ain't nobody got time for that. No one likes to do it. Unless you're a frequent visitor of Zombocom, in which case you probably enjoy the virtual experience of waiting in a line while you sit through a loading screen. Yeah, that's the website. Well, Zombocom is nothing but a loading screen. Actually, it's more of a parody of other websites that contain long loading screens. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's the website. It's literally just a loading icon. And what really makes the website creepy is that when you first go to it, you're welcomed by a weird voice that says, Welcome to Zombocom. Some people got way too much time on their hands. There's just something really unsettling and ominous about the whole thing. The carnival music that accompanies the positive sounding monotone speech is really something to experience. I think the best way to convey the creepiness to you is to say that the website feels like an online equivalent of a clown. Overwhelmingly positive and yet completely devoid of anything more, just endless smiles. If you have a lot of spare time, feel free to check this out at your leisure because it's a good time killer. Also, get a life. Number six is Opentopia. You know, we live in an age now where people are hypersensitive about the idea of the government spying on us through surveillance cameras, but there's a website that allows you to do just that. Opentopia provides free live webcams from around the world. Now, unlike other cam websites that focus on, you know, nice ladies making with the naked, this website mainly shows off what looks like security camera footage. All around the world, from Florida to Belgium, cameras can be monitoring birds, hotels, universities, and even bars. Now, the cameras aren't live video feeds because that would be too much strain on the website, so what they are is a series of images that can be updated by the minute. But no matter what the functionality, this website is damn creepy. I mean, why would you ever want to watch somebody doing something potentially embarrassing? It's just weird. <laughs> Next, number seven is memory of. Oh God, this one's disturbing. You know, losing a child is something unimaginable and it's something that most parents wouldn't want to share. Ah, I said most parents because memory of is a website dedicated to children that have died as a stillborn and it labels itself as an online center for healing. The website contains condolences, photo albums, and memorial candles. It's equal parts tragic and creepy, especially the photo album. That's that's a little bit more on the creepy side. You know, the healing aspect of it, I get that. I think it's a great thing, but taking pictures of stillborn babies is really gross. In fact, it kind of makes me nauseous because the idea of death and the and kind of... It's uh, uh, gross. Number eight is nine. This website... The full website is 973-eht-nama-973.com, but since it contains repeated use of the number nine, we'll just go with that. The website is extremely simple. Actually, probably a little too simple. It's just a black background with an orange and red text with the occasional photo as you toggle through the pages. That's it. It contains what most experts would call psychopath nonsense. Phrases like I am that I am and blessed be that name pop up throughout the pages in a style that can only be described as wacko. For whatever reason, this website does in fact exist and it's the perfect mixture of bizarre and unsettling in a weird little concoction of that. Of course, the guy who created the website chose not to list his contact information, but if I had to guess his email, it's probably something like dum dum da day at oh, dot com. Number nine is Creepypasta. If you're a 90s kid, you probably recall the show Are You Afraid of the Dark, which consisted of a series of horror stories told by kids around a campfire. It was classic. Well, this website lists the weirdest creepypastas that you could possibly imagine, which is kind of like a digital version of a campfire horror story. The website is simple and effective at presenting modern urban legends that people would message each other about online, except it's all gathered in one freaky place. Now, Creepypasta is, of course, one of the many websites that are out there that allow users to post and rate creepy stories online. But because this is the website that helped bring Slenderman into our lives, I'm gonna give it the creepy seal of approval. You know, a lot of people say that if you spend any extended amount of time on this website reading through all the stories, you'll never be the same again. But I don't agree with that because I made a creepypasta video and I'm normal as ever. See? Normal. And number 10, the deep web. Now, unlike the other topics on this list, 
The deep web isn't a single website, but instead a collection of websites that are not easily accessed. And that's a good thing. You see, the deep web is far creepier than anything that you could normally find through a search engine like Google. The deep web essentially comprises all of the websites that are not indexed by your traditional search engines. But man, what are some examples? Well, since you ask, one website is dedicated to an organization that gave detailed information about experiments done on live humans. There's another website that's dedicated to fan fiction focused on pedophilia. And those are the only examples I could give you because frankly, I was getting scared by doing this research. Now I know that some of you are going to visit all of the websites that I mentioned in this video which can be found in the description below but uh, for those of you that are like oh I'm gonna go into the deep web I want to find what's in there <laughs> don't don't do it because you just you can't recover from some things and you will you will have an aneurysm or poop your pants, one of the two. And that's all for the weirdness, baby. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for being patient over the last three weeks. I spent that time not only moving to Toronto, but creating a whole new set for not only these top tens, but my 50 Amazing Facts show, and I'm also developing a brand new show for this channel. Lots of cool stuff is coming your way, guys, so thank you again so much. And if you enjoy this new format, let me know by clicking that like button. And I will see you all next week. Bye. Hey guys, thanks again so much for watching. If you missed my last video, be sure to click here. If you want to check out my daily videos including vlogs, unboxings and more, subscribe to my second channel here and of course if you want to be notified of my next video on this channel, be sure to click that big red subscribe button below. And of course for those of you watching on your phone or tablet, all of the links I just mentioned will be in the description below along with all of those freaky freaky website. So check those out at your leisure and I'll see you next week.